How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys four of my favorite cheapest VPNs you can get under four dollars. So that'll be Nord, CyberGhost, Atlas, and Surfshark. All of the VPNs here do support peer-to-peer -peer activity. They are great for streaming. They're pretty fast, and they have quite a few features here and there depending on which one you pick so i'll get into all the features and how many servers they've got and uh, the supported devices and how many simultaneous devices you can connect to uh, but if you guys are interested in any of these vpns you'd like to learn more about them with regards to the privacy policy speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features You'll find links to the full in-depth reviews in the description down below, as well as links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to pick up any of them. Okay, so starting with NordVPN, which is going to be my number one pick under just under $4 actually. And NordVPN has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries and you'll be able to secure up to six devices with just a single subscription. NordVPN is a top tier VPN rivaling some of the best like Express, and uh, you'll get plenty of features such as the specialty servers, double VPN, which will route your connection through two servers rather than one for double the security, Onion or VPN, which will give you the anonymity of the Tor browser as well as the encryption of the VPN. Peer-to-peer -peer will be for peer-to-peer -peer specialty activities. And if you switch to um, OpenVPN right here, you'll also get dedicated IP servers, which will give you the same IP every time you return to one of these servers, unlike the dynamic IP servers, which are the regular servers, uh, which of course will give you a different IP every time you connect and reconnect to these servers. But if you don't need dedicated IP, I definitely recommend sticking to Nord Lynx. The Nord Lynx protocol makes Nord VPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business. Uh, and of course, all of that under $4. And we're not done yet. You do get the kill switch as well as the app kill switch. Now the kill switch will disable the internet access when you're not connected to the VPN, whereas the app kill switch will close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops unexpectedly expectedly rather than disconnecting your entire connection as it is with the regular internet kill switch so this will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the vpn otherwise it'll cut your connection to prevent any leaks split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the vpn and which are not so this can be very useful uh, if you don't want everything to be routed through the vpn or vice versa if you just want selected apps to bypass the vpn while the rest of your connection is routed through the vpn tunnel in advance you have an easy way to change your dns with custom dns and obfuscated servers if you're any censorship heavy country okay so next up is going to be my next favorite pick which is surfshark and surfshark will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription and you have over 3200 servers in 65 countries and you still get multi-hop and static ip which are the same as double vpn and dedicated ip from nord vpn so you're not necessarily sacrificing too much on uh, features performance uh, or security for that matter and if we go to settings you have the ad blocker called clean web you have the kill switch a handful of protocols if you want to stick to the most versatile option just pick automatic but wireguard will be the fastest uh, protocol here bypasser is the same as split tunneling from nordvpn but with the addition of uh, being able to select specific websites and ip addresses to bypass the vpn tunnel uh, and of course you get a handy speed test feature which will save you the time of manually testing every server for the best results Rotating IP will rotate your IP address every five to 10 minutes while your VPN location stays the same, helping you cover up your tracks, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country. And if you are in a censorship heavy country, No Borders Mode will help you bypass the censorship firewalls. All right, now my third favorite option is going to be CyberGhost. And CyberGhost has over 6,500 servers in 91 countries, which is way above the industry average. And you have all of these dedicated servers, dedicated IP, of course, you will have to pay for your own dedicated IP. No spy servers for extra anonymity, gaming servers for the lowest ping possible, torrenting servers for torrenting and streaming servers specifically for streaming. Uh, of course, one feature that I like is that you can just look up Netflix, for example, and you'll be able to get all of the Netflix servers right here on the list, which is a very neat feature. In the privacy settings, uh, you will get, of course, your DNS and ad blockers, as well as the kill switch. Smart rules will give you access to Wi-Fi 
Wi-Fi protection, which will let you select which networks are trusted and which you don't trust. Exceptions will let you choose the websites you don't want to pass through these cyber ghost VPN tunnels. So it's not exactly a split tunneling feature. Uh, and the app rules is going to make CyberGhost VPN launch and connect to a VPN server automatically when you open up a specific application. In this case, for example, I selected uh, Chrome. So whenever I open up Chrome, it will launch uh, CyberGhost. And finally, heading to the settings, you do have a few protocols here. You can stick to automatic if you want the most versatile option, because not all the servers are compatible with WireGuard, for example, if you're choosing WireGuard because it's the fastest option. So you can just stick to automatic if you never want to mess with the protocol selection again. All right, so CyberGhost will allow you to secure up to seven devices per subscription. Okay, so the final option on this list is going to be Atlas VPN, which is another very budget friendly VPN cheaper than all of these. It's a great VPN. Now, it doesn't really have many as many servers and locations. You've got over 750 servers in 37 countries and 43 locations. With regards to features, you do get the kill switch and split tunneling. Now, I have not updated Atlas VPN prior to this video, so that's why I don't have the uh, split tunneling feature, but you do get it and you get the kill switch. And of course, you get a couple of protocols here. Stick to WireGuard for the best uh, performance and an assistant here you'll get your tracker blocker as well as data breach monitor which will let you know if your email gets leaked online and of course atlas vpn will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription uh, so that's pretty much it for this video again if you guys are interested in any of these vpns you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about them with regards to the privacy policy speed streaming torrenting capabilities as well as security and features all of these vpns do have a 30-day money-back guarantee with the exception of CyberGhost having a 45-day money-back guarantee and they all do have live chat support except for atlas vpn they only have email support so keep that in mind so just to sum things up if you're looking for the best of the best out of these go with nordvpn if you're looking for the next best if you're looking for the next best that is similar, very similar to NordVPN with regards to features and performance, go with Surfshark. It'll be a little bit cheaper. Uh, if you're looking for something that's even cheaper and you just want to unblock streaming services, go with CyberGhost. And if you're looking for the cheapest option uh, that also gets the job done quite well, go with Atlas VPN. So that'll be it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.